your choice of friends and the people you mix with plays such a big role in how productive you are going to be. Some people get together, the only thing they like is to watch. What are you watching? Cricket. What else? Football. What else? The movies. What else? Well, this thing and that thing. Golf. Golf, subhanAllah, has become a big thing. So if that is the only thing you are doing, then believe me, you need, your company needs a little bit of adjustment because life is not all about golf. You know, when the angel asks you, you can't say, oh, I played 18 holes off par. That's not going to help. That was just part of your amusement in the dunya. We're not saying it's wrong, for example, to have a game of golf, but to give it preference over your deen is definitely wrong. To forget about the fact that you might die on the golf course and we've had people whom that has happened to, then what will happen? So we need to direct a little bit. Whilst we are amusing ourselves in the dunya, life is not all about entertainment alone. No. The people who are most at loss as Muslimin are those who think life is all about partying. Come Friday night, we're out in the party. Come Friday night, we go out every Friday. What do we do? We party until the early morning when the people are going for Fajr. And you know what we are doing? We're heading in the other direction. People are going for Fajr and we are heading in another direction. If that is our life and we've reduced it to partying and enjoying every weekend, where is the productivity? We've lost focus. Sometimes the new generation gets so involved in movies and so involved in entertainment that they feel without thinking their life is all about entertainment, partying, whole day. Everything is about a party at this house and that house and next week we're going to meet at this house. Where are the halakat? Where is something that you've done for your deen? Why don't you choose some weekends to come out to a talk like this as a family, for example, or go and mobilize, get people, get someone to talk to you. Not everyone is going to be able to talk to you on a certain level, but at least share what you have. Get some recitation of Quran, get a little teacher, get someone to explain to you one verse of the Quran. It doesn't need to be so long because nowadays what we've noticed when you prolong something to do with spirituality and religion, people become a little bit put off. So if I were to talk to you for one hour, perhaps you would listen. The minute I stretch it to the next hour, we'll start finding people stretching their hands. You know, we'll find people yawning and they do it purposely, you know, but productivity is that we don't bore people with things. Don't make them bored. Say something that is relevant. Say something that will benefit them. Keep them on their toes. You know, this is why the hadith, the Prophet says, ma qalla wa kafa khayrun mimma kathura wa alha. That which is short to the point is better than that which is much more and it distracts you.